Welcome to Between Over and Next with your hosts, Holly and Robert, a happily married couple who explore the space between what was, what is, and what's to come. From career changes to navigating life's uncertainties, this dynamic duo will empower you to live your happiest life at every age and stage. So get ready because your journey with Holly and Robert starts now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Between Over and Next, the podcast where we explore the space between what was, what is, and what's to come. We're your hosts. I'm Robert Allen. I'm Holly Ehrlich. And we are very excited to be with you on our, not our first podcast by any means, but the first episode of our newest podcast, which we're very excited about. We are experienced pioneer podcasters from way back in 2005 when we launched Wedding Podcast Network. So to be back with you podcasting on our own new brand, Holly and Robert, is really very exciting. Beyond exciting. And thank you, everybody, for being here with us. We want you to focus on what really matters, to embrace what you're passionate about doing and never stop doing it. And many of you may also know us from going live on Facebook, Robert, right? How many episodes have we done of that? Hundreds, hundreds and hundreds. Right. So it's going to be part of our legacy. Something that matters to us, right? We focus on what matters. So talking, you, you said we're pioneer podcasters. Robert, we have come a long way in technology since the iPod. So we started in 2005. We launched Wedding Podcast Network, which was really our third child. I really feel that way. And we are back with this podcast. And there are so many podcasts on the scene. And people now know what a podcast is and it's really become part of the fabric of society of you know you know in in the the language right you like in many ways like pre-covid like no one knew what a qr code was right and then covid hit and you couldn't look at a, a menu in a restaurant without what, a qr code well that's a good point but also what about zoom like we knew about zoom a long long time ago we knew about other online ways of delivering content. And really, we have watched the journey, like going live on Facebook. We were really two of the first that decided to embrace the technology and do it and to share our story. And not only that, but to share relevant, relatable, talk-worthy topics, the same with what we're going to do here on a regular basis, because the most important reason I feel that we're here is to teach the lessons learned. Well, we've always been very open about sharing what it is that we know. And that really started back when we were doing event videography. And I, you know, I started to teach, right? Teach right. others different techniques, different concepts. And people would always say to me, aren't you afraid that someone's going to steal your idea? And I never really worried about that. I just wanted to do my own thing, you know, what it is that I was doing. And I was just, you know, it was, it was such a, a positive part of my life and what I was doing and, and the techniques that I was using it was just natural for me to share it with others. But importantly, We've never been cookie cutter anything. And the other thing is, is that there are a lot of copycats out there, but I believe that everybody is unique and has their special something to share with the world. Hence, another reason with millions, I mean, I don't know, are there millions of podcasts, thousands of podcasts? There are a lot there of podcasts. There are thousands. I don't know if there are millions. I mean, there could be millions of podcasts. But you know what? We may not be famous celebrities, and lots of celebrities are starting podcasts or have started recently podcasts. Well, it's easy for them, easier for them, because they have a built-in audience. And we don't have 
all of those followers. We're not New York Times bestselling authors. But we do believe that being a happily married couple and partners in life and business, living an entrepreneurial lifestyle, as you like to say, right, and parents for over 30 years. All, all in a row. Right. I think that's something to talk about, something to shout about, to live out loud about. And it's a pretty good track record. But the other thing is, Robert, is what sets us apart is we walk the walk. And that gives us a distinct advantage and credibility as professional creators and importantly, respected mentors. Because we're not just textbook experts, right, that may have read about something or studied something and then wants to teach you the theory. We're not theory kind of people. We're reality kind of people. So everything that we talk about and we teach about and we coach about are all things that we have done. So we've navigated through life's changes, conflicts, challenges with a lot of confidence. And we believe actually in the power of belief, which is very important. I mean, I think it's Ted Lasso's biggest messaging. We will be talking about series that we love and why also. And we believe in reinvention. And, you know, Robert, through these 30 years, we especially believe in the power of the pivot. Well, first and foremost, because we don't believe in that there's something called failure. I, I look at that as a, as a learning and a teaching moment, right? When you, when you reach a point where something's not working, you change and you pivot and you, you move into a space where it will work. Sometimes that's easier than others. You know, for us during COVID, you know, once the lockdown happened and everything had to go online, we were already there. Well, what's interesting about that is Everybody was in lockdown, and we've been in lockdown the whole time we've worked together. We were already working and living together. So that was easier for us. But the other thing is, is based on our skill set and our talents, and having been people who really have incorporated the virtual events into our businesses and into our personal lives as well, you know, it was a good sh- good positive shift for us. And that's something that we believe in really, really strongly. Well, you know, it allowed us to, to do what we were doing for us, for others. That was the best part of all, because we really right. are we came to, to serve. The, we came to the rescue, for, especially in the nonprofit space, right? Because, you know, a, a nonprofit that depends on raising money in order to function and survive was now suddenly faced with situations where, you know, we can't have our annual fundraiser. We can't have our, our annual benefit concert. We can't have our, our fundraising breakfast. What do we do? What we allowed them to do was to continue to communicate with their their base in creative ways in ways that would would engage people enough to get them to continue to donate money because that's really the lifeblood of of any nonprofit is raising the money in which to operate so that's you know that's part of it so now you take there were so many organizations that had to cancel galas had to cancel basket no. bonanzas. If you didn't you have know. professionals like yourself that is so verse in the technology and always up on the newest technology, it's really difficult. You, you really can freeze. I mean, you, you know, you get, you know, like, what do I do? Who do I turn to? Well, it's kind of like anything else, you know, a, a lot of, a lot of things that look easy. You find that when you, sit down and do it, it's not so easy. You know, I, I, I always use the analogy, right? You know, I own a hammer and a screwdriver. I can't build a house. But in the right hands, that hammer and screwdriver can, you know, can build a house. So having the right tools and more importantly, knowing what to do with them 
is, you know, is vital. You took the word right out of my mouth. So everybody listening, why do we want you here? We want you here because we want to give you a dose of optimism. We want you to believe in yourself and know that if you want to become your happiest self, you have the power to change a good day to a great day to an amazing month to an incredible year. So what is between over and next, Robert? We say it's not obsessing with the past, which is over, nor with the future, which is next. So we want to encourage you to live in the moment with passion, purpose, positivity, and pleasure. You do not want to postpone living your best life because beautiful things can happen when we learn to stay present and find joy in the little things. And that is something that we focus on a lot. Well, so many people don't understand that your life is always undergoing change. And so many times people don't recognize those changes happening. And if they did, they could somehow have more control over those changes, right? It's like, you know, when you steer into a turn in a car, you, you're you directing that car around that turn. Without that direction, that car would run right off the road. So you need to kind of steer your vehicle, which is you, but you need to to know where you're going with that. You need to to know and anticipate a curve in the road. You're not steering right in front of you. You're steering down the road. You're looking at what's ahead. So the only way to understand that is going down that road, right? Having missed a couple of those turns, having taken that that wrong you know cut off right so what we want to help you do is to have more foresight you know everyone has hindsight you know everyone's good at hindsight but so few of us are good at at looking at what's next so we're all in between we're all in that moment so many times when something ends and the next thing begins there's oh there's it's never happening simultaneously you're always going to be for an undetermined amount of time somewhere in that moment between over and next and it's recognizing when you're in that moment that gives you the most power and you over have what's to, next and you have to reimagine it and you have to declare what you want and you have to take action, and you have to go for it. Michael J. Fox on Sunday morning, we were watching yesterday in replay, right, said optimism is rooted in gratitude. And I believe that we all need a, more optimism. We all need that happiness magnet. And that means that if you stay positive, good things and good people will be drawn to you. So I believe that we are going to have the best possible audience because we're going to draw them to us and there's going to be good vibes and good energy and love and care and support and importantly, togetherness. And we're going to do our best to remain as open and as honest as possible about what we do in our lives and to help you learn from that and kind of go on the journey, you know, all together. So we will talk about relationships, importantly, and mm -hmm. partnerships like ours including love and marriage. We're going to talk about technology because that's your, your thing for sure. We're going to talk about the entrepreneurial lifestyle. We're going to talk about work-life balance and family and special events and launching your next big thing, just like we're launching our next big thing and so, so much more. And what I think we're best at, Holly and I, are finding and gravitating to people who know far more than we do. And what we're going to do throughout the episodes of this podcast is to introduce you to some people who we know for a long time, some people who 
are kind of new to our lives. And we're going to introduce you to people who we don't even know yet, who we'll discover together on the journey through this podcast. And we welcome your recommendations. As you kind of get a feel for what it is that we're doing, if you have someone who you think would be a great guest on the podcast, certainly reach out to us. We'll guarantee that if you listen long enough, we will find some really good information for you as a listener that you'll glean from these podcasts. And all we ask is that you listen to 200 episodes. And after 200 (laughs) episodes, if you haven't gotten anything out of it, then you can stop listening. So I'm wearing a t-shirt today. What does it say? Uh, You know, it says a couple of things. It says 60. (laughs) Yes. And is that a shoe of some kind? Yes. Okay. And 60 And and? 60 and fabulous. Okay. Who's 60 and fabulous? Well, I was, but you are. So, as first and foremost, age is just a number, but 60-year-olds are also known as sexagenarians. I know you love that because it has your right. favorite first three letters. Genarian. No. The first three letters. I gotcha. Okay. And our philosophy is that you're never too old and it's never too late to have fun and enjoy every age and life journey stage and thrive. Well, I've always said it's never too late to have a happy childhood. You, you know what? You've been saying that for 30 years that we're together. I have. And each stage is an important and beautiful time of growth, learning, caring, sharing in a special and unique way. And we love what we do. And like you said earlier, we do want to leave a lasting legacy in everything we do. And we want our experience to be your advantage. You know, the one thing, Robert, is that You know, when we were going to name this podcast, because this has been kind of in the works, right, as we were figuring out what we want to do and why, you you started off, the first title you called it was No Coincidences. Right. Because I believe there are no coincidences. Okay. And because this is the timing of this journey that we're on now, our between over and next, right? Mm -hmm. Like we're doing our next big thing and I'm so excited about it. And I believe this was meant to be. So when I think of Much in the way we were meant to be. So when, go ahead. So, you know, you and I talk, our bed talk, our day talk, our everything talk, we're together all the time. We talk a lot. Okay. I talk a lot, but you listen a lot, which I love. But what is the first word I said to you when I think about meant to be? One of my favorite Yiddish words. Oh, for sure. So it's the predestined spouse or soulmate, right? So Robert and I met at a party 32 years ago. We were both, just a little bit about backstory. No, no, we were we were both engaged in our early 20s to different people. We broke off those engagements and we met about five or so years later. And I do believe we were meant to be. So I will tell you, love, marriage, and family quickly became the most important thing in our lives. The other two words that come up a lot, okay, when I think of meant to be are serendipity and synchronicity. And what did you say early, earlier to me when I said those two words? Yeah, I- I- ippities. 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 So I, I sing about serendipity. And that means unexpected good luck. Events happen by chance in a happy, good way. Serendipity. Give me an example of something that's serendipitous. I love that word. Well, the only thing that really pops into my head is the restaurant with the frozen hot chocolate. Okay. I really think it was because we were both at that one year old birthday party that year. So I believe that our, our, our togetherness was serendipitous. It was unexpected. We had no idea we'd be at this party. And six months later, we were engaged. Six months later, we were married. And now we're married 31 years. Yay, us. Okay, synchronicity. Defined by Carl Jung as meaningful coincidences. Signs from the universe, dreams, thoughts, images. Perfect timing when you think about something and then it happens. Life-affirming directions, like when certain numbers pop up. You know how I like 
always see 22, my favorite number. Mm -hmm. Like I see it on jerseys. Mm -hmm. I see it on hotel room uh, doors, I, on television. It's unbelievable how I see 22 a lot or 1010 or 1111. It's crazy. And then synchronicity occurs at the intersection of your awareness, response, perspective, and action. It opens us to mystery and delight. So I believe everyone listening can get whatever they want by listening to real life stories, ours and others, and importantly, the decades that we've been through between over and next from decade to decade to decade. So what else is about Holly and Robert? Robert? Well, okay. you're, you what, know, it's... how many brands did we co-found? 173. Eight. Eight. Okay. What, you know. Is this, are you quizzing me? A little. See if I know? Yeah. I mean, the one thing I know is that we're committed to educating, empowering, and enriching lives with a first class experience. Like, we want this to be worthy of your time to, like, kind of spend time with us. And kind of right, like get there's a lots little, of podcasts and to, to get listen a, to and to have some escape, but to listen to two people that I think have a grounded and let's tell everybody else a little bit more about ourselves. So we have we have two children, Lindsay and Alec. Can we just rewind a little bit? To when? That we are firstborn children, both of us. Okay. Okay. We have, We're okay. going way back then. We are blessed. I'm just giving some overall, okay? Okay. You know me and my notes. Go ahead. Okay. We're blessed to have parents that are alive and well. We were both born in Brooklyn. And in, New in and, the same hospital. And we are New Yorkers living in New Jersey. So I'm going to share my quote. Live in your purpose with your passion, and that is when you shine the brightest. And a few things that I love are art, the beach. Fashion, spinning, I love spinning. 13 years, I'm with Cycle for Survival. I'm a spin instructor. I love Mahjong. I won my first tournament. I'm going to another one coming soon. I love tennis. I now love pickleball. I love margaritas, which means I love tequila. I love wine. I love theater. Robert, what is your favorite quote? Happiness is a warm puppy. And what's your other favorite quote? Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. And he knows that by heart. So Robert is a digital media expert. He's a documentarian, an award-winning video journalist, and the originator of the 30-minute edit. Whoa. Robert, what are a few things that you love? Pizza. Yes. Not from New York. New, New York Jersey. pizza. New York pizza. Go ahead. Go ahead. Who's your favorite storyteller, so musical artist? Yeah, I'm, I, I'm very much into Bruce Springsteen. Very much. What is your like favorite the plant? The cannabis plant. Right. What do you amazingly do in the kitchen be besides certain things you may not want to mention? But go ahead. <laughs> well, I like to cook. You love and to cook I think and I'm grill. Good at it. Right. Yes. Right. You're pretty good at gardening too. What is one of our favorite foods besides pizza? Something. Sushi. And yeah. we both love beer and wine. Yeah. So listen, everybody. We're friends. We are proud parents of Lindsay and Alex. And we now have a son-in-law, Elliot. Our kids, Lindsay and Elliot, got married in November of 2021. And we're empty nesters. We've been for a while. And we love it. Yes. <laughs> and we are talking to other empty nesters that may or may not love it. And we'd like to learn more about your empty nester experience. Yes. We're business partners. We're producers in the world of video and podcasting and special events online and in person. And importantly, we value people. We honor our relationships with friends, family, and colleagues. And the most I love that we're lifelong learners, Robert. Yes, we are. You know? And we're lifelong teachers. So, so Steve Jobs said, learn continually. There's always one more thing to learn. And that's just another reason why we want to share our experiences with you on this podcast to imagine a brand new possibility for your life. So what can we promise everybody listening, Robert? Authenticity and honesty and some entertainment along the way. Oh, boy. So I believe your story is bigger than you know. And together, I hope we can be open 
I know, I, I don't even have to hope. I know we're going to be open to new beginnings, start something new, and create the next, that's the key word, best chapter of your life. Thanks for tuning in to Between Over and Next. We hope you enjoyed this episode and found it meaningful and insightful. If you value it to be worthwhile, please share it with your friends and family. We would really appreciate it if you could take a moment to write a review for us. Your feedback will help us continue to create content that resonates with you. And don't forget, in the show notes, you can find all the relevant links mentioned in this episode, from accessing free downloads to visiting our website and more. If you have any questions or comments, we would love to hear from you. Simply send us an email. Our email address is hello at hollyandrobert.com. We're always excited to connect with our listeners. So until next time, thank you again for joining us on Between Over and Next. Thank you for listening to Between Over and Next, the podcast that navigates the twists and turns of life with courage, laughter, and a whole lot of inspiration. Tune in every Tuesday to hang out with Holly and Robert on your favorite podcast platform. Visit hollyandrobert.com and follow them on social media to ignite your passion and fuel your dreams.